seeing as I've got Duchenne muscular dystrophy, I thought I might as well do a series of videos just explaining what that is and uh, do a few videos keeping people updated on progress and medications and treatments in the future that might be available. So uh, anyway, yeah, I've got Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Uh, now, there's quite a few different varieties of dystrophy. But uh, I think Duchenne is considered the most severe. You know, basically, it's an error in one of your genes that stops you making a protein called dystrophin. Now, you, normal healthy people have lots of dystrophin. It basically, like WD-40 for the muscles. Keeps things healthy, running, not wearing down. Basically, it allows your muscles to repair themselves. Now, with not having this protein, or not having a very good protein, your body's ability to repair and maintain muscles is crap. So, for me, that meant that by the time I was eight years old, I was in a wheelchair pretty much all the time. Now, at that point, I could still use my arms, and the only thing that was really wrong was the fact that my legs didn't work. But eventually, that progressed to my arms not working, not being able to feed myself, take myself to the toilet, all the things that you would take for granted. Yeah, even, even down to uh, my lungs, well, my lungs work fine, but the muscles that allow me to breathe, they're shot as well. So that's why I've got this mask on. Now, it took a bit of a, a while for me to get used to that. But now I just treat it the same as if I were to wear glasses. Eventually, it'll make its way to my heart. And, well, my heart's already getting a little bit weaker now, but that'll result in cardiac arrest and I'll die. Or I'll get a chest infection, don't have the muscles to cough it out, and I'll suffocate and die. Or I'll get a bed sore and that'll get infected and I'll die. Yeah, so it's all really pleasant, really. So the way I've chosen to deal with it is with a bit of a sick sense of humour. So, uh, yeah, you'll have all that to look forward to. Now, it's not all doom and gloom. When I was diagnosed, I was told, well, my parents were told that I'd probably die before I was 15. But here I am, I'm 29 years old. Good apart from having to deal with a disability, which is the only thing I've ever known, so it's not really an issue. That's it, really. I still do the same things as everyone else. I've got the same ambitions. Personally, for me, I'll just take one day at a time. Now, there's lots of other people with a condition that have been older than me and uh, have held down jobs and done all sorts of wonderful stuff. But suppose at the end of the day it depends for them on how bad the condition is. In my experience I've found that the condition can be massively variable. There's children younger than 10 that have died from it and a few people have made it to 50. A lot of that depends on where you live, uh, postcode lottery, if the NHS will fund treatments, or if I'd much rather prefer to give people boob jobs, that sort of thing. I've been relatively lucky. One example of this is there's a machine called a cough assist, and it, it's a bit more, more powerful than the ventilator. But what that actually does is suck out of your lungs as well. So that'll help clear infections and all sorts of nasty secretions from your like nasal cavity and lungs. And that'll prolong your life for 10 plus years. But sometimes people have been refused or have to have 
a massive fight to actually get a machine to help them live. To my knowledge, there is a drug recently that was created that, to my understanding, it essentially stopped the dystrophy. You'd still have it, but it wouldn't get worse, or it would definitely slow down the progression. The powers that be decided not to approve that. So, yeah, well, that's, I suppose, the worst part over with. Anyway, that's just my video on dystrophy. I suppose other people have got different dystrophies or have different methods of dealing with it, different hobbies, different skills, that sort of thing. So, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Hopefully in the future I'll have more videos explaining things. Might talk about my ventilator in more detail. To talk to other people who've got a similar condition. See where it goes from there really. So uh, I hope I haven't depressed you too much. Have a nice day. Burt out. Oh, and uh, one more thing. If you've got any questions... Feel free, I'll try my best to answer them, and if I can, I'll probably be able to find someone who can.